The Haltom Robotics team competed at Lamar High School last weekend. After weeks of preparation, the team arrived early Saturday morning for a battle of the bots. So for preparation, on the first night we had a lock-in. For the lock-in we stayed all the way to 12 o'clock and basically it was just where we had professional engineers helping us try to figure out what our base is going to look like, what how our arm is going to go up and down, twist, all that sort of stuff. And for the next few weeks, we were just all spent the entire day up, like 5 o'clock in the afternoon, sometimes 6 or 7, just trying to finish the robot, trying to figure out what we're trying to do with it. Um, personally, as a driver for me, this is my first time being the first driver just out of the pickup. So, at first it is quite nerve-wracking, but also exciting. So I get to make my own judgments on what I can do to make my team win. And for overall, as a team, I want my team to be up there, 1-5, trying to shoot for number one. The theme of this year's competition was agriculture. The robot was designed to perform tasks such as sow seeds or harvest corn. However, the competition has a purpose superseding farming. It's definitely a good introduction for kids of all ages. We've seen people as young as you know, 7 years old all the way up to like 17 years old in high school. A uh, good introduction to the science, technology, engineering, mathematics field. Uh, and also there's a lot of programming involved that uh, some of these kids are just, I mean it's incredible what they've done with such a limited amount of resources. And, and uh, it's not a small competition by any regards, but, but uh, you know, taking a few motors and taking some, some planks of wood and putting them all together and programming it to be a robot that actually functions and performs a task that they were set out, you know, months ago and, and they told them, hey, you know, you got to perform this task and they've made a robot that does that and goes even beyond that. And, um, it's a good, good introduction to them for, for group work. I mean, they're learning leadership skills. They're learning how to work with other members of, of their team and, and their peers and people they might not normally associate with. They found a common interest in robotics or mathematics or engineering. And excellent, excellent uh, learning experience for all these kids and I think all of them had a great time and, and uh, they all seem to be excited and smiling. So we're doing something right. Both the volunteers and the students benefit from these competitions. Their dedication and time commitment does not go unnoticed. I've been doing this about 12 years now. I started out as just a standard volunteer, uh, helping out with judging t-shirts and stuff. And it was so fun to see all the young people and how excited they got about this. So I just started uh, participating more. It's made me grow more as a person. I now do all the judging coordinating and make sure the right people in the right places. And it's fun for me to both see the schools and the kids grow over the years and see the volunteers and how much they get out of it. The team's coach in particular has witnessed the growth these students undertake. So Halton Robotics is, it's a lot of things to me. It's, uh, it's very, very valuable for students. It's, it's just amazing to see uh, students go from um, this, this beginning level of you know, oh, robotics sounds fun, to fully designing, building, testing, redesigning, rebuilding, retesting, and being quality engineers. There's more than just the building robots. There's also a marketing presentation, talking to businesses and getting them to donate money to us uh, because they believe in our cause. Um, we have, of course, spirit and sportsmanship and, and um, getting the kids just to be silly and fun and enjoy themselves uh, and really they, uh, they they take it and they run with it. The competitors of Halton Robotics ran with it this weekend and landed second place best overall and will be going to the UIL state championship but in addition to a successful competition these students gained something a little more meaningful. So best robotics is more than just being smart and making science projects and robots and geeky things. It teaches young people how to communicate. An opportunity that they don't have otherwise. It opens doors they didn't even know existed. How to use skill sets, how to use diverse knowledge sets. I've seen a lot of kids come to the program that are getting complimented by, by real engineers with the work that they're doing. And one thing that I don't think uh, people notice as much is the character of the kids in the program. It's, it's certainly, yes, if you want to design robots, and if you want to build robots, and if you want to drive them, all that's fun, and we do all of that, but we really do so much more than that, too. Congratulations, BuffBots. You made Halton proud. 
Signing off for Stampede TV, Kaya Mellon.